Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. In the first part of the newly introduced REST API operation series in BAO79, we saw how to use REST API to perform login, generate authentication token, and logout operations in Remedy Single Sign-On. In this video, we'll focus on how we can use REST API to perform user and role management in RSSO. Let's get started. Now let's perform some local user and role management in RSSO. From the left-hand sidebar, I'll click the RSSO folder and I'll perform the create user operation. So over here, we can see this is the URL that we need to create a new user. As you can see, we are performing the add operation. The type will be post. Go to the header section. Provide the content type as application JSON and in the XSRF token, paste the token that we generated during the RSSO login operation. Now go to the body section, make sure raw is selected and from the drop down list, select JSON. This is the new user account that we are going to create. The username will be BAO admin, admin123 is the password and once the user is created, we'll enable the user. Click the send button. As you can see, we have received a success code of 200. Now let's check on the RSSO console to see if the new user is created. As you can see, the BAO admin user has now been created. Let's try the next operation. Next is update user password. So this is the URL for the update user account password. As you can see, it's update password. The operation type will be post. In the header section, we'll provide the content type as application JSON and the XSRF token as the one we generated earlier. In the body section, this is the user account for which we are going to change the password. Let's provide a new password. Click the send button. And the password has been updated. Next, we are going to delete this user account. So this is the URL for the delete operation. Again, the operation type will be post. Provide the token value over here. In the body section, we need to specify the user account which we are trying to delete. So in this case, it's BO admin. Now let's execute the operation. As we can see, it's successful. Now let's validate. So the BO admin user is deleted now. Now let's try to create a new role. This is the rest URL for creating a new role. The operation is post. In the header section, we need to provide the token along with the content type. In the body section, this is the new role that I'm trying to create. So the role name will be BAO admin role. Click the send button. The operation is successful. Let's validate. So the new role has now been created. Now let's assign a user to this role. So this is the REST URL for assigning users to a role. The type will be post. In the header section, we need to provide the XSRF token. In the body, we need to provide the role name and the user account we are trying to assign to that particular role. Again, the format is raw and JSON over here. Click the send button. Our operation is now successful. Lastly, let's try to delete this role. This is the rest URL for delete operation. We are going to use the post type. In the header section, let's provide the token value. In the body, we simply need to provide the role name that we are trying to delete. Click send. We received a success code of 200. Let's validate and the user account has now been deleted. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next part of the series, we'll see how to create authentication token for BA or REST operation and how we can utilize REST API to manage resources within the repository.